What's up guys? Today is phase two of the restoration on this Chevy Aveo right here. Um, like I said in my last video, I'm prepping this thing for sale because I want to get a new car. So I want to basically make this thing look as good as possible so I can get top dollar. Um, last week was the wheels and hubcaps. This week I'm going to be restoring these headlights right here. I bought a restoration kit from Harbor Freight and we're going to use that and see how it works. So now that I have the headlight all wiped down and taped off, I'm gonna take the drill and this little uh, buffer attachment um, with the 500 grit sandpaper on here. So the first is the 500 grit, then you do 800 and then 3000 for the last one. Uh, I'm gonna try this first and uh, see how it goes. Okay, quick update for you guys. I did finish the right headlight. I didn't really film it because I, I did the 500 grit and then I did the 800, um, but the, the consistency just wasn't looking even. There was still like a weird line across the headlight and I was just getting super pissed. I thought I'd just totally ruined my headlight, but my uncle was like, you know what, just continue on, do the 3000 grit and then do the polish and see what it looks like. And that's what I did and it actually like totally changed the game as soon as I put that polish on there. So let me just show you real quick um, kind of the finished result on the right side and then I'll kind of go back and show you what I didn't show you when I start the uh, other headlight. So uh, yeah, let me show you real quick. So here's the before. Um, I haven't done this one quite yet and I will show you guys what the other one looks like. So yeah. Quite a bit different, looks pretty clear. Um, let's do the other one. All right, so this is the point that I got scared last time. Let me show you real quick. God. So this is the point that I got kind of scared at last time. I have done the 500 grit on this headlight. Um, you can see right here that I got the yellow off, but it's a slightly different uh, opacity than the glass below it. So I did the 500 grit over the whole thing um, and I was getting worried because there's still this line here where you could see where the yellow was. Turns out after you put the polish and everything on and do everything that it ends up looking consistent in the end. So uh, yeah, so from this point, I'm gonna go ahead and do the 800 grit, then the 3000 grit, and then uh, wipe it all down and put the polish on. All right, so I'm moving on to the 800 grit now. I'm just going to spray this down with water and uh, take a couple passes at it. Okay, so that's how it looks after the couple passes with the 800 grit. Uh, now I'm gonna move on to the 3000. So this is what the headlight looks like after the 3000 grit. And you might be thinking, Trent, that looks horrible. And that's what I thought too. But now we're gonna add the polish and I'll show you guys how this just transforms this kind of foggy looking headlight into something that's actually clear and looks good. Okay, so I got my polishing wheel. Just throw this guy on here. Take this polishing compound. And it says take about a dime size and just kind of evenly work it into the headlight. So put that on here. So I just put on the polishing compound. Uh, it looks much better than it does obviously when it's all sanded up, but this one that I just did actually didn't turn out quite as clear as the other side. So I might hit it again, just go back with the, the sandpaper and do the 500, 800, 3000 uh, again and see if that clears it up a little bit more. But let me show you guys what it looks like right now. So here it is um, from the front. It looks pretty good. But as you kind of work off to the side here, 
This is still looking pretty hazy to me. Um, I mean, it's obviously 100 times better than it was before, but not quite as good as this side. Like, that much, looks much clearer to me. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but uh, yeah. I want it to look more like that, so I might come back and hit it again. So that's it for today. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this video tomorrow. See you guys then. Okay, so it's now day two, and I just did the process all over again with the uh, 500, 800, and 3000 grit, um, followed by the polish on the headlight that I thought was a little foggy still yesterday. And after doing that, it still pretty much looks the same. It might look a little bit better, but you know, if that's all that it is, that's all it is. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna call it a wrap on this video. Uh, let me show you the final result. So here's what I ended up with. This is the uh, more foggy of the two. And then if we go around to the other side here, you can see this one looks a little clearer. Um, also because the sun's not shining directly on it, so it does look a little different. But they're both pretty similar. Um, so yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna leave it. Also gave her a quick wash down while I was at it, so she's looking good. All right guys, I think that's gonna do it for this video and uh, for this kind of restoration series. I only needed to do a couple things on this car and uh, ultimately I hope it improves the resale value when I go to sell it. If not, it looks good for now, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, drop a like down below. And if you wanna see more videos similar to this, um, click subscribe. Till next time, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the flippity flop. Peace.